Hello, my name is Jimmy Carey, WX9DX here in Illinois. I'm a technical specialist for the ARRL. Today we're opening the MFJ 941 EK antenna tuner kit. Just got it in the mail. Whatever you open the kit with and also on the carton, be sure you don't cut yourself. It's pretty easy to do, actually. So be careful. They do a great job of packaging this antenna tuner. Retain the carton if you can. You might need it later for carrying your tuner to a ham fest or to field day. Someplace you might want to use it. Or just even storing it to protect it. Amazing uh, containers. They do a nice job on it. Shipping cartons. You want to download the manual, uh, and it's a lot better than having to have to pay to ship all that paper. They do a very nice job on on this manual, put together very very well. Check the plastic packaging that everything comes in. If this packaging is not open or torn, you can almost be assured that a part of this is not left at some UPS center or something. Again, thumbs up to MFJ for their people that package this stuff. They do an amazing job. I do this on every build. Check the container, make sure it's not all scratched up. If anything is wrong, call MFJ. They're great people to deal with. They'll almost 100% take care of any problem you've got. And one of the little plastic packages is a little cardboard carton. In that container is the two variable capacitors. This is the inductor put together by the MFJ technical people. Hook to the switch. On the back of the tuner, everything's inked. Make sure that ink's not smeared. On the front of the container, You'll see that there's an discussion. Make sure that discussion is centered over the holes. Again, if not, get a hold of the manufacturer MFJ. They'll take care of it. I break everything down into plastic bins so that I can count them and look at the manual while you do this. Actually, they've got little places in the manual you can put check marks to make sure that you've got all the parts. Then I scotch tape all the parts except for the nuts and bolts, which are in a pla still in a plastic bin after I counted them. I scotch tape all the parts down to paper, and then I write on the paper what each part is, totally identifying it. And only scotch tape the parts by the wires or in some way so that the tape does not damage the part. You notice the circuit board is just laying on top of the paper here. It's not taped down in any way. That way I don't get to any glue from uh, scotch tape on the uh, circuit board. They do have a bunch of wires that are supposed to be different lengths. Um, silvered uh, bare wire, those are shipped all the same length. Thank you for watching and be sure to watch part two, which will actually be the build of the antenna tuner. 73 WX9DX.